I think one of the fascinating questions is, uh, number one, will Republicans do a lot of business with Democrats? And we'll right. get to that in a minute. But number two, how will it play out now that they run both chambers of Congress? What we've seen in recent years, the internal divides within the Republican Party, especially the Tea Party versus the establishment. John Boehner will be reelected speaker today. We don't have any doubt about that. But the question is, how many Tea Party conservatives and rather grassroots conservatives will vote against him as a matter of principle? They think he's too compromising. They think he's too establishment. They think he's too close to groups like the Chamber of Commerce, let alone he's willing to talk to a Democratic president in Barack Obama. Here's Steve King from Iowa, one of the leading Tea Party uh, spokesmen, I'll call him. He's outspoken all the time, explaining again why he says Boehner should not be returned as Speaker. Every Republican pledge to repeal Obamacare. I brought the amendment to cut all, fu all funding to implement or enforce Obamacare. I was blocked procedurally by an act that I think was the Speaker's. And uh, then it took two and a half years for that, that to finally work its way through the system. Yeah. We had a government shutdown, but the, we've, got to, we've got to control and manage this Constitution. The President's violating it at will, and the actions of the Speaker have prevented us from keeping our oath to defend the Constitution and restore the authority of Congress. Is it embarrassing that somewhere in the ballpark of 15, maybe 20 House members are going to vote against John Boehner? All the, well, the Democrats will vote against him, but the Republicans will vote against 15 or 20 of them will vote against him today. Is that embarrassing, or could you spin that and say, given all the turmoil in recent years, that only... 15 or so are going to vote against him shows how strong Boehner's hold is. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, that latter idea of, well, we thought the Tea Party uh, was such a major force uh, that they can only at this point muster 15, 16, 17 uh, votes against the Speaker. Mostly they're symbolic, mostly they're so these guys can sort of elevate their own profiles uh, as well. But, you know, so far it looks like uh, l last year he was a bit worried, apparently, about, about that. He wasn't on the floor when the votes were going on. I think he was smoking heavily at that point as those votes were, were being taken. Uh, but this time, it looks like it's a clean, a clean deal. Does it mean he has a shorter leash, though, going forward when it comes to the issues that most fire up that conservative base, whether it's immigration or some of these spending issues, Obamacare? His allies and aides say no, because if you look at the increased size of the Republican majority, most of those new members who were elected are essentially Boehner loyalists. He went around the country campaigning for them. He helped recruit them. They have pledged their allegiance to him. And they don't think they will have as, as hard a time as they have had in the past trying to get those more tricky fiscal and, and sort of health care related things passed.